Sharpening a hollowing knife has its own set of complexities. We've got both the convex or outside radius uh, edge to deal with. We have the concave or inside radius that we have to deal with. And so uh, what I do is I start with a mill file, flat mill file, and I work the convex edge. And as I mentioned in my Cooper's Axe video, always sharpen away from that edge. So I'm gonna work this, uh, the edge with the mill file as far as I believe I can get with that. And then from there I, use, I move on to diamond stones. Now, diamond stones are not appropriate in the 17 or 1800s context, but I don't sharpen when I'm doing my historical presentations. I, my sharpening, uh, I'll do behind the scenes, and, uh, but I will hone, and, and I'll demonstrate that uh, because while I'm using a knife, I will hone before and during uh, use to make sure I keep a keen edge. So uh, the diamond stones I like, and this is not sponsored, this is just my preference. I like the DMT die sharps. This happens to be a three by eight inch set of stones. And so I'll start with the extra course. Now, these may be used either dry or wet. And if you are gonna wet them, make sure you use a auto glass cleaner as these will have uh, rust inhibitors where a household glass cleaner does not. So we can add just a little bit of liquid to, to help wash or move the particles away so, so it's not stuck down in the, in, the, in the surface of the stone. And we're just gonna work this edge. And very quickly, we start seeing some of that rust color, that oxidized iron coming up in our slurry. And very quickly, we're also seeing bright iron coming up. And so uh, we'll keep working this and we'll go from the uh, extra coarse to coarse to fine to extra fine. Now, uh, if you're looking for a set of these, as I said, I'm using a set of four. Uh, you can go to sources such as Amazon and, and buy the individual stones and many users, they'll get the coarse, fine and extra fine. However, uh, I purchased these through uh, sharpeningsupplies.com. I highly recommend. They're great to work with. Uh, they, they offer a set of four cheaper, uh, including the extra course, versus buying the course through extra fine, uh, just buying the individual stones elsewhere. So I highly recommend uh, these. So I will work that edge up to the 1200 uh, grit with the uh, diamond stones, and then I'll wipe the edge and I'll wipe the uh, slurry from my stone and then once I get down to bright metal then I move to honing and I'll do that with a leather strop where I have the smooth side of the leather glued down to a wooden substrate a little wooden board and I charge it with chromium oxide charge that well and then I can work that edge again I'm working away from the edge you never want to pull back I've made that mistake once, and even a dull coopering tool can cause a significant flesh wound, uh, even if it doesn't cut wood very well. So this is the process for working that outside edge. Now to move to the inside or the uh, concave edge, I'll use a round, or I believe this may be called a, a rat tail file, and we can work that inside bevel, just like with the convex edge, we can work away and we're scraping that rust away, removing that oxidation. So I'll work this to the point as far as I feel comfortable going. And then again, I will go to a diamond plate. In this case, this again is DMT. I'm a fan of their products. So this is a uh, diamond uh, sharpening cone. I'll add a little bit of the auto glass cleaner there. And again, working away from the edge, I'll, I'll kind of push and rotate my hand as I go. That way I'm working along the length of the cone as well as across the cone. So I'm not just sharpening and potentially wearing that down in one place. So I'm working across the stone, I'm going up rotating my hand as I work my way through 
the motion. And I'll continue with that until I have shiny metal along the edge. Again, I'll use uh, a rag. In this case, I'm just using a piece of t-shirt material that I can get at Lowe's, Home Depot. You can get a bag uh, for $10, $15, and it'll last you for years. So once I have that edge that I've worked with the diamond plate, I'll try that off. And again, uh, I, you need a strop. Now, uh, what I did here is I just took a three quarter inch dowel, took that same leather and glued it smooth side down onto the dowel. And that gives me a round strop. Again, charging with the chromium oxide. And then from there, I'll take that same motion, pushing and rotating. That way I'm having maximum contact along the length and width of my round strop and I'll work that edge. And we'll keep going back and forth and at some point there should be a little fine wire burr. Now you can work the outside edge again with the square or the round, it doesn't matter. And so we'll just keep working back and forth until we remove that little wire hair and that is the process for sharpening and honing a hollowing knife. And again, what I will do is have my flat and round strops and my chromium oxide. I'll have them beside my um, shave horse while I'm working. And that way, when I start using the tool, as well as throughout the process, I'll stop every so often and I'll re-hone. That way I can keep a keen edge and a, have a fine cutting tool.